Well, hello, folks, and welcome to A Sportsman's Life. I'm Luke Clayton and my two good buddies. Jeff Rice. And Larry Weissen, and we're so proud that you're with us this week. I'll be very honest with you. I have no idea where we're going. There is no telling, but it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time, folks. Stay tuned. We have another great adventure on A Sportsman's Life coming your way. That right there has been a long time coming. I grew up on the property where I took this deer, and one of the one of the reasons I moved back to uh, uh, the country, not too far west of Houston. I grew up in Colorado County, Texas, a little German-speaking community called Zimmerzeit. Could not speak English until I started grade school, of all things. <coughs> Excuse me. Hunted here until I left to go to college, and hunted a little bit after I at Texas A&M and then unfortunately did not get a chance to come back really. I was way too busy other parts of the world, other parts of the state doing wildlife management work and writing and traveling and TV things and all those other kind of good things that I was involved with so very long. Finally moved back to Brenham or moved to Brenham. One of the primary reasons was so that I could hunt my own property a little bit more often and dearly wanted to take a buck on the property I grew up on. That opportunity happened yesterday afternoon. I'd been hunting elsewhere and, and I got back home and decided, you know, it's a good afternoon to go hunting. Got out here on this property just a little bit behind here and set up my camera and, and uh, actually got a little bit of footage of this buck as he was coming across the field. Unfortunately, I did not track him all the way across when I pulled the trigger. I thought he was on camera, unfortunately he was not, but uh, by the time I got to the, got everything taken care of last night, it was too dark to get any footage, so I thought I might come back out this morning and, and uh, show a few things with this deer and get some photographs. Had my wife come out and take some absolutely fantastic photographs of this deer. Uh, used a Ruger M77 6.5 by 55 Swedish. Absolutely great round that's been around for many, many, many years. This particular gun is topped with a Trigicon 2.5 to 10 Huron 
quickly becoming one of my favorite scopes. Used it uh, a little bit on my last hunt as well too. And of course, always shooting Hornady. This happens to be their super performance that uh, they put out in the 6.5 by 55 Swedish. Absolutely fantastic load. Like I said, that round's been around a long, long time. And, and kind of the older I get, I think the more I like some of the older cartridges. They do everything that the new ones do. And, and uh, yeah, there's a little bit of nostalgia involved with them as well. But this particular buck, there's so much that went in the production of this thing. We set aside some property of ours to kind of serve as a uh, kind of a sanctuary a little bit, grow some good browse. And to be very frank with you, this is about as big as these deer here get. We, we're, we're not huge deer in terms of antlers, but uh, we've been under a rule by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department for the last many years of having to have four points on at least one side with a 13 inch inside spread. Now this one happens to be about 13 and a half. I looked at him very close. I knew he was gonna be close on the spread, but also knew that uh, really felt like he was going to be that, at that level so got a good shot at him he took off running unfortunately like i said got him coming to me for a little while on camera and then i didn't push the camera over around far enough to where i could get the kill shot so uh the kill shot's not here nor is the recovery because it got dark on me but what a fantastic hunt this is one i've been looking forward to for a long long time of being able to take a deer on my own place now that's something very special as far as i'm concerned this particular property has been in our family since uh by got titled to it in 1876 and uh they actually ranched and farmed this country before they bought it many years so been on this property probably since about the 1850s or so but uh grew up hunting here Old camp house is here in the back where we used to spend our time only a little way from the house where I grew up in. And uh, what an absolutely fantastic deer. What an absolutely fantastic deer. Use Texas hunting products, scent guardian, best product there is. If you're not using it, you're, you're missing the boats, all I can tell you. Oh, Lordy. Now to get him taken care of and uh, get on the call to Luke Clayton and Jeff Rice and Tell them all about this hunt. I can't wait to get in touch with those guys this morning. Sent them a text last night. Now it's time to tell them the real story on the thing. Of, of, they know how hard I've been hunting here and how long I've been hunting here to want to take this buck. So appreciate y'all joining us. Lots of good things coming to you on A Sportsman's Life. We truly appreciate you watching us and staying with us. Thank you very much. Hey folks, this is Scott Wallace with Smoking Text. I want to show you our, well, this is our main model, the, the unit that we started the company with almost 20 years ago today. We still build it the same way. Uh, all double wall stainless steel, insulated 850 plus degrees. We think it's the best electric smoker on the market. We hope you will too. And we do have a little bit less expensive alternative here. Um, we brought this on to give people a little more flexibility in terms of if he has a uh, space restriction, needed a place to put it on the boat, or out at the lake house or the deer lease. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, again, this is our most popular, and of course we have them bigger all the way up. Our next model up is 995, and it's a really good, I feel like it's the most appropriate size for the home. If you'd like to order a smoking text, it's easy to do. Uh, we have a great website. You're more than welcome to get on there and look at our recipes, our videos, and our forum section where people are exchanging tips. Uh, you can also uh, place an order there in our shopping cart. Uh, we are on the web, and you're welcome to call us at 888-922-1511 or drop us an email at sales, S-A-L-E-S, at S-M-O-K-I-N-T-E-X.com. Hope we hear from you soon. Well, folks, here's a little what I call a butterball pig. 35, 38 pounds, who knows? It's going to make some really good pork. Put a peep sight, sight on my old 30-30 here, my old lever action. And uh, got him this morning. But what we're going to do is, is uh, actually him and one other hog. We're going to skin these out, put them on another expanded wire grill, and cook them over some wood. So let's, we're going to go to work on this, and probably the next time you see me, I'm going to be cooking this rascal up. Well, folks, we are back at camp, and Mr. Tate and I did get two really nice eater pigs. A couple of them probably 40 pounds, one maybe 55 pounds. We're back at camp, and this is a expanded metal grill that you see in front of me. I haven't built a fire yet, but you know, this is not the way to cook a big chunk of meat. Uh, I'm not gonna cook it inside a smoker. I'm gonna 
actually grill it, but these little pigs, we've got them sawed in half. They should make some excellent pork. Now, B&B &B charcoal, I'm gonna use the lump charcoal here. It's a hot fire. I'm gonna use the whole bag to get it going. And then we have the B&B &B charcoal mesquite wood. Now, this is Kel dried. It's very good cooking wood. I mean, you could cook it on any kind of wood, but this is gonna be, gonna add a lot of flavor to this meat. So let's get our fire going. I'll kick our fire off. We'll show you a picture of the fire. We'll put a, probably cook the whole pig in, two, in halves. Cut it in, it's already cut in half. So let me get that pork cleaned up, folks. We'll get with it. What do you say? And folks, here's you a little bit better view of our expanded metal grill. We're going to put the pork right on top of that and cook it right over these open coals. So almost have the, the pork ready to go. We'll ladle it on there season it up really well and get it cooking. Okay folks, here is one of the little pigs about to be cooked. Got our best of Texas barbecue sauce. I'll wait a little bit before I baste it. Take a look at this. Normally I would not cook a large chunk of meat on a grill like this, but this pig probably weighs 35 pounds. It's gonna be some tender pork. So stay with me, I'll show you the finished product. Well, folks, I had to cut our little pigs up into smaller pieces. Uh, these hams, these bigger chunks, shoulders, I had to pull them away from the, the coals. They were, you know, they were getting too hot. So it's kind of a, there's no exact science to this kind of cooking. You just have to watch your fire. And this wood from B&B &B Charcoal did a great job. Of course, our barbecue sauce, there is no better. So I just kind of used a little brush and I basted it along as we went. Tell you what let's do, let's take a, just a little sample of this rib here. Just a little piece. Oh, it's falling off the bone, literally. And I say we dabble this in a little more barbecue sauce. Hmm. Again, folks, don't try it with a big hog. It'll be tougher than, a, tougher than white leather. Some of the best pork I've ever had. Let's move on and see what, we, see what Jeff's got in store for us next. Folks, welcome to A Sportsman's Life. We are here with legendary John Hale, race car driver, uh, stunt pilot. John does a little bit of everything, but I can tell you one thing that John does very, very well is makes Best of Texas barbecue sauce. Uh, you can find us at our website, uh, www.bestoftexasbbqsauce.com. You can order there. We have specials on uh, right now for... Uh, uh, you buy five jars, you get one free. You buy ten, you get two free, which uh, 12 is the case. Very good. Well, folks, if you have not tried Best of Texas barbecue sauce, I promise you it is better than the Best of Texas. It's the best there is. I, maybe you should change the name Best There Is Barbecue Sauce. I like it. <laughs> so, folks, get you some Best of Texas barbecue sauce. John, thank you so much. Thank and you. Uh, appreciate uh Appreciate your barbecue sauce. Well, folks, it's your old buddy Luke Clayton and Mr. Randy Douglas, one of my best friends. We're at the Dale River Ranch. If you look back in our shows about this time last year, I used this Air Force Air Guns Texan 45 caliber to kill a nice buck back in here, Randy. Yeah, you sure did. And our goal today is to get out there and just have some fun. I don't have any venison, so. I, well, we're fixing to fix that. We so. can fix that. So we don't yeah. know if we're going to be shooting a doe or a buck, but we do know I've killed a bunch of game with this, including that nice buck last year yeah. here at the Dale River Ranch. So follow us out here, and we'll get in a stand and see what we can do. Uh, Randy, all the folks need to remember DaleRiverRanch.com. Right. You can contact this fine gentleman and come out here and hunt. Check us out on Facebook, and you can give me a call at 214 seven nine seven two two one seven so come out and kill something hunt that's something right, get that's you some right. meat. You or about, fish or you know yeah a good fishing too we might even have a chance to fish a little bit you ready to go bud yeah let's go do it all right folks stay with us okay folks here's our stand we'll get up in there and we've got about oh three hours to hunt we'll see if we can get us a buck here or maybe a fat doe Well, folks, Randy just put out some of our 
Texas raised hunting products doe and estrus right there just on the side of that feeder there and I'm up in the blind this is where we're going to be doing our hunting right here but he's got some doe and estrus out right beside that truck there and he's going to park the truck and get up in here with me we're going to see what comes out so stay with us folks Folks, this is some Brazos River country. Randy's going to get that truck parked and be right back up here with me. But the Brazos River is right over that hill there. Actually down in the bottoms there. Good spot right here to have deer crossing. Some does are still in estrus. Hopefully we're going to get us a buck or who knows, maybe a fat doe right here this evening. Stay with us. We're going to have some fun, I promise you. Folks, this is some awesome country. I want to talk real quiet because there could be deer right out there. Randy's going to be my cameraman, and I'm over looking over this feeder that we just showed you. We're going to be real quiet and see if we can get something in here. But my gosh, this is a good place to hunt, folks. Randy, I think we need to go silent, buddy. I agree. All right, stay tuned, folks. We might have something good coming up. Well, folks, last year up on the Dale River Ranch, I killed a big old buck. We're going to show a little bit of last year's buck in this video. But I was meat hunting, and this is a two and a half year old spike. He might be a little bit bigger if he grew a lot longer, but not the genetics that Randy wants up here. He's going to make some great venison. Uh, using the, the Air Force Air Guns Texan, this was about a 75 yard shot, and the shot was lethal. He didn't go anywhere. Didn't have to track him. So we're gonna get him skinned out and, and old Luke here is gonna have some good venison. This is the first deer this year that I've taken, but uh, I'm ready for some chicken fried spike. Folks, thank you so much for joining us here on our Sportsman's Life. I mean, what a great, great adventure we had today again and looking forward to another great adventure next week, huh boys? You betcha, I'm ready to, ready to go. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna stay right here. Y'all join Keep us going. next week. <laughs> And a special thanks to these fine sponsors. Air Force Air Guns, B&B Charcoal, Dallas Safari Club, Hornaday, Pyramid Air, Sightmark, Smokin' Tex, Snap Block Hunting Blinds, Texas Raised Hunting Products, and Striper Express.